<laughs> oh boy. It looks like we're just gonna jump right back into another part of the Fruit of Grisaia. Oh, wait a minute and welcome. My name is Shisha Anime and welcome back to part 35 of the Fruit of Grisaia. Now, in the last episode, we had such memorable moments as Noir and other things like that. So now we are going to resume our experience with the Fruit of Grisaia. So, guys, you can be sure. And also, for this drink, for the drink today that I've chosen to have, I've chosen to have salty lychee. Because, why the hell not? So before we literally, literally start, let's have a taste of this thing. Mm. And you know me before, if you've been with me long enough, you know I like my lychee drinks, so. That's actually really nice. Ooh. Do you know what? Lychee is a really, really sweet fruit. So, actually having salty lychee actually is kind of refreshing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got a good drink for this recording session. So, guys, Ikebushoka! <laughs> Two hours after my classmates' supremely vulgar conversation, I return to the school with Chizuru. Currently, I'm receiving a hospitable cup of coffee in her office. Oh, yeah, we did the press conference thing. Did you really even need a bodyguard today? まあ、そうね。結果的には必要なかったのかもしれないけど、あなたがいてくれたことで少し若干がついたというところかしら。いえ。この年で一人身だと何かと考える人も多くてね。話し合いのテーマとは別の方向に会話を持ち込もうとする
なんて関係ねえよーみたいなやんちゃ気取りかと思っていたのに<笑>意外とそういうところで昇進なのね。Well, that's right. I'm a cow by nature. I think that's what's kept me alive so far. Fair enough. Cows have a good nose for danger. And when they catch the scent, they avoid it like the plague. The rank of hero might sound nicer, but you only get three. You only get there through post posthumous promotion. I'll pass for now. <laughs> there are only three things worth sacrificing your life for your country, your friends, or your woman. And if you're willing to die for your woman, you damn well shouldn't go around making her unhappy. Hmm. I mean, it reminds me of my mother in some ways. She put up a bold front, but at heart she's pretty timid. I might act tough, but she'll fall to pieces if she tries to keep everything inside. Troublesome sort of woman, really. If you let her be for too long, she'll get cranky. But if you give her too much attention, it'll just make her all the more anxious. For the moment, I'm letting her do what she pleases. Hopefully, we'll eventually get more comfortable together, but right now, we're still at kind of a sounding out phase. I don't want to give her any reason to feel uneasy. <sighs> What's that supposed to be? Can't I actually use my brain? Damn. Well, I can't deny I'm completely inexperienced with this sort of thing. My closest point of reference is working with a partner in a squad. So I'm approaching it more or less the same way. I've got enough headaches as is, thanks. I chose a job I can do alone precisely because I'm not cut out for managing a group. Well, we have this agreement, you see. It's kind of weird. I'm still uncertain just how serious I can take this relationship. But it's exactly because we're at the tentative stage that I'm not being half assed about the details. That's a big part of the uncertainty I just mentioned. Yeah, we already know that the work is a bit. Yeah, at the moment. Actually, that could work. Is that a serious offer? I'll think about it. I think that's what it would be in Japanese. Not an unattractive proposal, to be sure. Chizu is well acquainted with my circumstances, so working at a school wouldn't create any awkward problems or conflicts with my main occupation. Even if I had to be suddenly called to my side job, it's perfectly possible to cancel a lecture to or bring in a substitute teacher. And that training camp that runs 10 days a year should be easy enough to fit in to one of the long seasonal vacations that come with being an educator. Ah. To be honest, I can't predict how long my relationship with Varmine will last. But nevertheless, some serious thought about our possible future together might be called for. We had to, well, we're off to quite a serious start as well as a bit of a humorous start. That's nice. What's going to happen? Oh, oh, there we go. Varmine's right there waiting for us. Just as I'm beginning to lose myself in serious contemplation of these matters, I encounter the woman in question sitting at the side of the hallway with an idiotic grin in her, on her face. All of a sudden, it all feels ridiculous. Hey, you. Uh -huh. Why are you sitting down in the hallway? Stricken by a sudden stomachache? Uh -huh. Trying to hold in a violent urge to defecate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to take a shit? <laughs> God. Damn it. <laughs> Nekomaru will help you with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you've already sold yourself. I don't think Fetish was actually said in there, but okay. <laughs> what? Amane is sitting next to the row of vending machines, her bottom flat on the floor, and her knees bent in front of her. There's a small sketchbook in her hands. And when I lean over to read the words... Breast... <laughs> You're gonna make me pay? Excuse me? Um... <laughs> hello? 100 yen? The message includes a moment of mild dizziness pinch in the bridge of my nose. Yeah, I, I can already feel that, actually. I take a deep breath, then address Amane in a carefully calm tone of voice. 
Look, Harmony. Nani so. Were you under the impression that my reaction to reading the sign would be. I don't know. Something like, Lucky me, here goes. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Wait, so why are you making that? That's not the damn problem here. Yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to yell. But could you just stand up already? Having a conversation like this is really awkward, alright? Look, Kamane. I'm an I have something to say to you. Mm. I, Kazumiuchi, am not the composed, cool, and confident man you apparently think I am. To be perfectly honest, I was just moments ago worrying myself fairly seriously over my future with you, and what I, what path I should pursue. Like, damn, he's straight to the point. In other words, I was earnestly pondering the possibility of forming a family with you. Ooh. Oh, honky de. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You may have misunderstood things somewhat, but this Kazumi Yuchi individual you've entangled yourself with has a surprisingly strong sense of responsibility. I pulled you into my life for my own selfish satisfaction, so I feel obligated to give you something more than sadness and regret. I'm not sure what to do yet, but I've been thinking it over. When the time comes, I want you to look back and think I was right to choose this man. I want you to be happy we were together. I'm reconsidering my very way of life in the hope I can make that happen. And then I get breast 100 yen in the hallway. Can you perhaps imagine what I experienced while I'm reading this? Allow me to express it in words. My god, am I seriously racking my brains over this ridiculous crap? <laughs> I thought my legs were going to get out from under me. Do you understand? Uh, oh, oh, oh. To be honest, I'm not the... I'm not the good man you might have been imagining you would end up with, but I'm trying very hard to become something like one. And here you're giving me the casual sex machine act. Makes me feel like a little ridiculous about the whole thing. Do you see where I'm coming from here? それはわかるような気もするけど、私だって必死なんだよ。こんなこんなだらけの学園に男が一人腫れむ状態じゃん。そんな中でさ。<笑><笑> ちょっとおっぱいが大きいだけの私が貴重な男子を射止めたわけだよ。射止めたって言えば聞こえはいいけど、要は一番最初に唾つけたってだけで、私だって不安なんだよ。他の女の子に言い寄られて。そうです。
Ooh, not going to lie at a time like this. I'm, I mean, it'd be nice if you could trust me on that without having to ask, honestly. <laughs> Maybe you'll take this the wrong way and start up with the he totally shot me down or my pride as a woman is in shatters. In, in shatters, I'm an idiot. Tatters. Crap again. But I've got my pride as a man too, you know. I don't mind being mocked. But when somebody says that guy's got nothing but breasts on the brain, if I were to let it go, I'd be tactical. I'd be. Tacit. Tass tacit tacitly? Hold on a minute. That's a big word. Tacit. Tacity. Tacity. Is that like an, a different word to tenacity? Tacitly meaning. A way that is understood or implied without being directly. Ah! Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'd be ta tacitly agreeing that the woman I fell in love with is a worthless idiot who just happened to be blessed with a nice rack. Okay, yeah, ignoring the whispers of society sounds very noble and all that, but I'm not going to put up with that kind of insult, even if it's coming from coming out of your mouth. Point being, Armony, you can be more confident than this. Do you understand what I'm telling you? うん。全然。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ。ゲイ
Hey, Yamane. I need to tell you something. It's important, alright? Listen carefully. I know, it won't take long. About my part time job. My workplace, that is. ああ、その話話せないなら無理に話さなくていいよ。まあ、I'm actually not. I'm actually not far from Hiroshima. I'm about a good two or three hours away from it at the moment. I'm actually very close to Osaka at the moment. Very, very close. In fact, like less than an hour away from it. They're a favorite of mine, actually. So, you got that? Oh, what's wrong? So, you got that? You got that? Hmm? What's this thing? Stuffed <laughs> And for some reason, you've written drive carefully on it? <laughs> oh, is that used the actual hair is kind of scary, you know? Just, just saying it's like a video doll. <laughs> mm, yeah, that is. ね。。あ、それ、アマネ。いいよ。あんたが無事で戻ってきてくれるなら、私は何も聞かないからさ。ちょっと <laughs> You're a good woman, Amane, you know that? A hell of a good woman. Took a focused effort on my part not to start blubbering like an idiot. Oh, wow, you two nearly broke. Ooh. I guess most people would probably snicker to hear me say it. Kind of overreacting a little trinket like that, aren't you? But for me, it's more than enough. If I had to make an analogy, maybe it's something like a short letter from the homeland that reached a ragged, dispirited soldier on the front lines. A single sheet of paper written by some anonymous female student at a high at a class assignment. Sometimes that's enough to give a man courage and the determination to go on. Yes. Human beings are simple creatures at heart. As I hold Amane's amulet in my hand, a thought strikes me. A dog, huh? I told her she resembles a dog the other day, so I think it's fair to say that this was a considered choice. Not only a lucky charm, but also something of a forget-me-not. Dangerous work? Yeah, that it is. No denying it. One way or another, this relationship might end up leaving her miserable. That's weighed heavily on my mind all this time. But when I accepted Amine's feelings in the form of that charm, I felt as though I'd received something else in the bargain. Something like a home. There's no reason to overthink this anymore. No reason to get caught up speculating about what might go wrong. If I have a home, all I need to think about is how to keep on finding my way back to it. Oh, this is actually heartwarming. I'm actually feeling it now, like right in the chest, right in the kokoro. I'm done worrying. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like a plan. Indeed. Sounds nice. Macro happens to be a favorite of mine. ほら、サバ。綺麗に焼けてるでしょ。これね、電子レンジで焼いたんだよ。最近はいろいろと便利な世の中になったよね。はい、よし、手食べさせてあげる。あんして。ああ。うん。あ、そう。Go ahead. 
何な,なんか素直で気持ち悪い<笑>何を聞いているの<笑> What do you want from me? If you're going to feed me, hurry up and get it started. Waiting with my mouth hanging over makes me feel like a complete idiot. Damn good. Okay, how about some vegetables next? Give me some of that boiled lotus root. Denkon. Lotus root? I haven't even tried that yet. Yeah, this is delicious too. <laughs> I came to the realization I never had much in the way of dignity to begin with. <laughs> no point acting around. <laughs> If you want to do the sort of thing I'm an idiot, I'll go along with it. What do you want from me? Are we done then? It's kind of a pain to have to ask you for every mouthful, to be honest. I'd rather eat as I please. Oh. <laughs> You don't get it, Makina. Dropping food into a man's mouth is a privilege reserved for his girlfriend. If you want me to eat off your chopsticks, you need to get the expression. You need to get the express written consent of Amine. Notarized in triplicate. Uh, <laughs> you're dangerously soft. The more you let little things slide, the faster they'll pile up into a serious problem. Makina, if you want to play sappy lovebirds, you can do it with Sachi. <laughs> Convenient time. Ah, oh, Sachi. Sorry, but would you mind playing a secondly lovey dovey couple with Makina? Alright, step one would be to open your mouth. There you are, Makina. Feed Sachi to your heart's content. I'm not gonna lie, her Anne is actually ear piercing to me. <laughs> oh, good. We have ourselves a lightly erotic undercurrent. This should be acceptable. <laughs> I refuse. Kotowaru. <laughs> <laughs> For one thing, it's embarrassing. So, Right, but that's because you were the one feeding me, Amine. There's no way I'm. There's no damn way I'm going to let anyone else do something like that. So, Nanda. Hmm. Look, can we just eat already? Nah. These sorts of ground rules inevitably get relaxed with the passing of time. So it's wise to start off by making them a little on the strict side if you're too uh, on the strict side. If you if you're too lenient from the very beginning, you'll pay for it later. Also, Magnus really just looking for some attention. No real need to get it from me in particular. Just take a look. She certainly seems to be enjoying herself. Now the text is slightly different, especially with the leaves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I accidentally missed that. So, swapping rules. Got it. Oh. Habanero! Habanero! Maki-chan, Amaneo! To Habanero! Ja, Hatsun Shka, Atte Nai Yo! 
Yeah, they do. You're trying to make a lot of rhyme? Why do you know that? <laughs> Why? Why she know about them is the bigger question. Mm. Are you a hardcore play fanatic? Oh, shoy. Kick something by mistake. Mm. Yeah, just look it up. Kuwaset.食わせる。はい。ああ。どう？美味しい。うん。うん。大好物なり。次はミートボールでよろしきや。はい。ミートボールね。<笑> あれ触っててぐちゃぐちゃこねて作ったミートボールだよ。はい。ああ。美味しい。ビミである。ビミ。あ、don't <笑> I mean, do I really go around talking like a drill instructor with a stick up his ass? <laughs> <laughs> That's really? Hold on. Hold on. I'm not I that come on. Sachi is uh, I think she's definitely a masochist. I'm just calling it now. What is going on? Yeah, Oh, no hesitation. Even when given an utterly outrageous order, is such a pro or what? <laughs> God damn it. Gotta get pulling them apart right now right apart now might only fuel the flames of their forbidden love, don't you think? <laughs> All right, you two, that's enough. Mummy's getting angry, so the game's over. Stop playing with your food and eat it. Hi. <laughs> Lately, I think there have been some subtle changes in the way my acquaintances approach me. My decision to stop overthinking things probably has something to do with it. Probably, yeah. Oh. Have I? Hmm. Oh, okay. oh, can't I can't say I'm particularly conscious of it. Hmm. Don't say that, please. <laughs> can't think of it. I've been planning to have this discussion at some point. Tell me, Sakaki. How much do you how much have you dug up? My employer, of course. Hmm. I don't care that you know the truth, but do me a favor and don't spread it around to the others. So you do know after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. 
Even if the guy who's asking seems like an ally, keep on playing down to the very end. <laughs> that, that at least I'm conscious of. Mm. What's that supposed to mean? You just let something big go. Ooh, does that have something to do with the reason I'm an ace at the school? Alright, then I want to ask you any more, anything more. Just as I have things I can't speak of to anyone, I'm aware that Amine probably wants to keep certain parts of her past to herself. Let me just angle it. There we go. There we go. Hello. That's better. Probably. Oh, I kind of done my back yesterday, so I'm feeling quite sore today. I don't intend to drag it out of her. What? You know way too much about everyone, don't you? Ooh, you know too much. Don't blame the victim. Uh, hey, hold on. What's wrong with that woman? Drops hints left and right, then runs for the damn hills. Run for your life. <laughs> I'm in a secret. I honestly have no idea what it might be. But just as she's accepted me without a question, I'm willing to accept her as she is. Simple as that. I've already decided as much. Nothing else matters. Oh, excuse me. Hmm? What? If it isn't Michiru? What if it isn't Michiru? Yeah. Hmm? We were just making small talk. What? Okay, for one thing, I haven't taken a single step. What's the problem here? No, that's, no, that's news to me. I'm aware that Amane's my girlfriend, though. Means exactly what it sounds like. Look, what are you so angry about anyway? That's not cheating. Lucky <laughs> Jenakte. I don't really follow the logic here, but wouldn't that, but wouldn't that mean I'm cheating by talking with you right now? Yeah. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Look, I haven't budged at any point in this conversation. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Tell me something. Why do you keep finishing your sentences with little bursts of awkward English? <laughs> I really don't remember flirting with anyone. No! いい。I I know. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't usually give a guy your virginity as part of an elaborate practical joke. He's right though. He's right. No. Devil. Amane is from Tokyo. I'm pretty sure. どうでもいいでしょ。とにかくアマネはあんたの赤が思ってるよりずっと中心で臆病な子なの。ああ、差しなさいよ、鈍い男ね。<笑> You're completely incomprehensible. What do you want from me exactly? True enough. I'm aware of that. I'll take good care of her. Tobikeri. Tobikeri. Yeah, understood. 
But just so you know, any such action on your part may well cause me to counterattack reflexively. Allow me to apologize in advance. <laughs> You're attacking me. I do understand that, but I can't control my unconscious mind. Well, let's see. If it does turn out that way, I guess I'll pay your hospitalization fees. <laughs> Joe, that's just reminding me of something. Here in Japan and that lot, um, the way I have to pay for my health insurance here is very weird. Because you can actually pay it at um, any um, super supas here in Japan, like uh, Family Mart or uh, Seven or any of them that actually have a barcode scanner, but any big supermarkets that uh, sell loads of damn stuff, like a big store, you could not actually um, um, buy it from them. It's only from the smaller kiosk type ones. I found that very interesting when I first found that out. <laughs> Hospitalization? Just what kind of counter are you... What? Oh yes, that was her. I'll be as careful as possible. But I'd ask you to do the same. Don't start shrieking about cheating every time you get suspicious. Before you accuse someone of a misdeed, you need to calm down and think things over rationally. Funda. <laughs> this one's even worse than the last. Spits out as much bunch of nonsensical accusations, then vanishes as quickly as she appeared. Annoying. Yeah, to be honest, I think annoying pretty much covers it. From all accounts, the world seems to be experiencing something of a cindere boom at the moment. But I'm deeply and sincerely glad I didn't end up with something like that for a girlfriend. Ooh, unless everybody wants me to do all the roots, then uh, you know what to do. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Huh? Do you have any idea why she was so angry at me in the first place? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, but it kind of felt like she was throwing a hissy fit while she was at it. Yeah. I'm just a verbal punching bag. Mother of God. いつの間にか私とユージが付き合うことになってたから、それが少し面白くないのかも。ああ、maybe it's a ああ。自分じゃなくて私が選ばれたことが面白くないし、自分を押し抜けて選んだ私を雑に扱う勇気がまたムカつくんじゃない。ああ。はい、な、あいけ、あいけ。マイトリーに<笑> せめて焼きもちって言ってあげなよ。焼きもち。オッケー、ウコレだ。もし私が逆の立場でユージとミチルが付き合うことになったら、やっぱり同じようにミチルを大事にするんだよって言うと思うし。That's fair, that's fair. Women are just a pain in the ass. <笑>そうだよ。女ってのは面倒なの。でね、面倒ついでにいいかな。uh, for what? Spare me the unattached pronouns. The sub just came right out of me on that one. <laughs> what? Hmm. Uh, look, what are you planning? I'm the one who decided to accept Diamond Hey. To be considerate of enemies and play along with their games, can't very well complain about such minor moments of selfishness. For one thing, I'm pretty sure there's more to this physical neediness than her generally aggressive personality. If my acceptance offers Amine some reassurance, some belief from her, ex some relief from her anxiety, that's enough for me. There's no reason for me to run my mouth. What's happening to me? 
Am I being am I being assaulted? Am I being molestated? <laughs> Do you know what? I actually want to keep going for a little bit more. I'm going to make this an hour episode, I think. Yeah, ten more minutes. We're going to do a full hour of the Fruit Crusade today. And it's also very easy to record this and upload it as well, it turns out. Which is a godsend. Hmm. Did you get Amane's permission? I was getting worried because my frame rate just dropped to one. <laughs> oh, oh, I got scared. <laughs> Fine with me, but when are you plan planning to bathe, Armony? Understood. Alright, Makina, let's seize the moment. <laughs> of course not. What kind of person do you think I am? Anyway. Stick to the duck. アヒルじゃなくてイゴを持ってっていい。イゴ。何それ。潜水艦なのよさ。今日は晩ご飯カレーだったし、お風呂で手に暗号こして。バタルティニアン。ないないないないないないないないないないないないないないないないないないないないない
These days, Megan seems to be getting stronger emotionally as well as physically. She doesn't burst into tears over little failures like opening the milk carton from the wrong end like she used to. Her view of, self, of herself is less pessimistic. She isn't wallowing in self-pity over her mistakes. Wow, so is this a recap sort of episode? Hold on a minute. I'm confused now. Well, I think you G has a lot to do with that. The forceful way he tells her, you can do if you try, helps, but the confident example he provides is just as valuable. I'm convinced she really needed that sort of a father figure in her life. She's gotten so much more positive and proactive, thanks to Yuji, that, it's almost, that it almost feels wrong to complain, but... I've got to say, she's also been talking like a military nut lately. Her tone and vocabulary are getting stranger by the day. I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing in itself, but Makin is a girl. I can't help but feeling a little uneasy to hear her transforming into a tiny drill sergeant. Definitely something to address. Oh, that was what she was writing in her diary. Oh, okay. I thought that was... The boyfriend jo How many journals do you have, Abade? Breakfast. Two thick whole wheat toast with margarine, aloe yogurt, and a hard-boiled egg. <clears throat> also some minestrone I had waiting in the fridge. Lunch. Grilled mackerel with a side of stew featuring carrots and lotus roots. I've never even really heard of lotus roots, but I'll try to see what they're like. I, I, I actually don't know what they look like either. I tried throwing in some dumplings filled with the chicken and the tofu mix, lightly sprinkled with plum sauce. Ate them without a complaint. Plum sauce is quite nice, but by itself, I don't like it. I don't like it at all by itself. He doesn't seem to enjoy meat as such, but as long as the flavor's not too strong, I don't think it really bothers him. Chicken seems to be a good fit. A nice discovery. Nice! <laughs> Navy style dinner. Navy style curry at Makina's request. Demanded it after seeing some submarine movie with Yuji on satellite TV. First thought was, what the heck is Navy style curry supposed to be anyway? Uh, very quick, plain, and also full of the nutrients that you need. But when I looked it up on the net, I found lots of recipes. I guess it's a traditional sailor food? It seems to be popular in Yokosuka. Yokosuka too. I pretty much just slapped it together from the recipe. It was a big hit. Yuji loved it. Yuji's total caloric intake for the day. 1,920 calories. Slightly on the low side, I think. Yeah, that's quite low, because average is about 2,000. Normally, like me, myself, um, because I'm a heavy I'm a heavy bastard, all right? I weigh about 85 kilos. I have about 2,500 calories a day. But in all fairness, I'm walking around constantly and also going to gym as well. So I also need the extra vitamin boosts um, just for the size of my body. Recently, I feel like he started losing body fat again. Time to slightly increase the carbohydrates and vegetable fats in his diet. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well, um, that one. Ooh. Nice. Are we seriously going to do this? I mean, here of all places? What are you doing? This is a good place. Yes. This is a good place. If you think about it, 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 I will take it. This is also my explanation. Explanation? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I don't know, but I just felt a chill run down my spine. <laughs> no, 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 no. The police siren. The police sirens I can already hear in the distance. Can you please not get me arrested, Makina? Bloody hell. Cut it out. You want to face Amane's wrath? So three later. Spare me the bizarre analogies. Get over here already. I'll wash your head. Alright, here comes the hot water. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm aware that Amade is keeping a diary, but I've never once discussed it with her. Honestly, I'm not especially interested. JB once told me that the contents of a woman's diary, like those of her purse, are best left unseen. Helps preserve your pleasant illusions. True enough, I guess. Then again, when I look at JB or Principal Tachibana these days, I get the feeling that clinging too strongly to your romantic fantasies about the opposite sex can be problematic in its own right. In any case, women are complicated creatures. Yes. When you actually start dating one, you'll inevitably end up seeing many different sides of her. Sometimes, that must be downright disillusioning. Disillusioning. Fortunately, that hasn't been my experience. While I'll admit I find Amine hyper hy Amine's hyperactive sex drive somewhat puzzling, I really don't have anything to complain about in that or any other regard. I understand that women at her age have a strong sense of sexual curiosity. And after all, this is her first relationship. It's only natural that she'd want to try out a lot of different things. Oh, yeah. And while I can't deny the possibility, something else may be motivating her behaviour, I've decided to stop overthinking things. I'll give her my I'll give her my half-hearted cooperation until she gets bored of these aggressive carnal antics. <laughs> and there we go. We have now roughly reached about an hour of recording. Okay, so so we're gonna start summer vacation next episode. Nice. I just realized I saved over that, but I haven't even got a freaking... Ah! <laughs> no! Oh, no, 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 I am an idiot, <laughs> I saved over my previous saves that I had to speed through everything that I've already been through <laughs> to get a thumbnail. <laughs> Guess I'll die. <laughs> but anyway, that is the end of this recording, guys. So, there's not much I can say other than thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want any more content from me. And also, I have now I have got my own Discord as well as my own Patreon. Would you believe it or not? So, if you are feeling generous and want to help me out, you're more than welcome to click down on that link below. And there are tiers available. I know it's not the best at the moment, but I just wanted to... I don't know. I felt like if I did have people um, helping me out to motivate me to continue on making videos, then I I would really love to experience that feeling so much because ever since YouTube demonetized me completely, I really, really felt depressed all about it. I wasn't earning anything anyway, but it's still depressing to be told like you're cut out of it unless you delete some of your own videos. And I don't want to delete my own creations, hell no. So, it's there if you want to. So, Sonogenic guys, almost certainly. See you next time.